Hey friends, I'm Chris Schufel with Chris in the Classroom, and today we're... <coughs> you know, one of the main questions I get when I speak to audiences is about cyberbullying. People say, Shuf, you talk about how to deal with people being mean to your face, but what about if they're mean over text or Instachat or snap to face or tweet book or whatever? It seems like mean behavior online is doing so much damage, almost more than mean behavior in person, and it's understandable. When people use technology to communicate, they're disconnected from the people they're talking to, which means three things. One, people feel more comfortable saying and doing things that are more intense and vulgar. Two, people don't see the reaction of the recipient, which removes a great deal of the emotion from the conversation. And three, the recipients of the messages are free to interpret the tone of the message which can cause some pretty serious mind games. But what if I told you that mean behavior through technology isn't all that different from mean behavior in person? There's only four ways that people can be mean. Check out this diagram. They can say something mean to you, like mean jokes, teasing, rude comments, insults. They can say something mean to somebody else about you, like rumors and gossip. They can do something mean to you, like pushing, shoving, flicking, rude gestures. And finally, they can do something without you, like leaving you out of a party, a game, or a group of people. Those are the only things people can do to you, in person or online. People can call you names, make mean jokes, and insult you in person and online. People can spread rumors about you in person and online. People can make rude gestures in person and online, and people can leave you out of things in person and online. Now, like I said before, because of the disconnect and the anonymity allowed by being behind a screen, sometimes the behavior can be more vulgar and more intense, but it's still just those four things. So if you can follow these three steps, it won't matter what happens, your feelings will be protected, and you won't have any issues with anyone online. First, you gotta be resilient. And I know I say that a lot, but it's super important. Remember that if someone is gonna break your heart, they have to go through your brain. You can control whether or not you get upset or hurt by someone else's mean behavior. And I have plenty of other videos that describe that more in depth, but remember this fact. If you get upset, they feel like a winner because that's their goal, and they're gonna keep doing it. So don't let them win. Don't get upset. Second, our first reaction is often to react or post something in return to what that person said. They post something mean, and so we respond with, you know, like, shut up or stop it. Or maybe we even post something negative back, like calling them names or insulting them in return. Don't fall into that trap. We need to remember the golden rule. Treat them the way you want to be treated, no matter how they treat you first. If you don't want others to post junk about you, don't post junk about other people. Now, I understand that sometimes people are just going to be mean, whether we did something first or not. Regardless, treat them the way you want to be treated, no matter how they treat you first. So let's say you post a selfie, and someone says something like, Ew, that's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Ew, this is so cringe. And you could get mad and insult them right back. Well, at least my selfie didn't break my screen. Something like that. <laughs> or you could just say, I know, the lighting totally stunk. Hashtag messy hair don't care. <laughs> or you could just reply with heart. Or just simply give the post a like and keep scrolling. And as I've taught in other videos, those two steps work wonders. Once people see that you aren't bothered and that you won't respond in the way they're hoping, they're likely to stop. Finally, friends, remember this. Technology and social media are a privilege and a tool. Believe it or not, you can survive without them for a while. Don't be afraid to turn them off for a bit. Disconnect, unplug, unfollow, unfriend, delete, take a break, do a technology or social media detox. You'll be okay. Think about all the other things you could be doing. 
you might actually like the world that exists off your screen. Well, that's it, friends. Thanks for watching, and until next time, class is dismissed.